Hi, this is Cayman with SMB, and today I'm going to show you how to install an SMB intake kit on a 2015 and up F-150 5 liter that already has a Whipple supercharger. This kit is an awesome enclosed intake kit. comes with either a cotton cleanable filter or a dry extendable filter. Huge, high flowing, looks great, straight shot to the supercharger. So you're going to pick up sound, you're going to pick up flow and just overall performance on a truck that already has a Whipple. If you already received the SMB intake, simply just take out the, um, the card that came with the kit. It'll be in the, the bag that has the clear lid. Scan this with your smartphone. It'll take you to our most up-to-date step-by-step instructions. Um, you can watch along as well to get a feel for the install, but when it comes to the install, follow along step-by-step. -step. We're gonna get started right into the install by removing the negative on the battery, just with the 10 mil. Gonna pop off the negative. So now we're gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna come over to the intake tube and we're gonna be removing the intake tube along with the sensors. So first step is you can loosen up these hose clamps. We're gonna do loosen, loosen up the hose clamp on the throttle body as well as the one on the intake. These are both eight mils. Now with those loose, we're going to remove these PCV fittings. So on this blue fitting, you see the little finger there? We're going to take that finger and slide it all the way down to the unlock position, and then just pull it off. So you can see it a little bit better there. Now this bottom fitting, this is just going to pull out of the tube. And we can also just remove the tube to give us a little bit better access. Now you can kind of rotate it. Now the tube is free to come out. You can see the grommet stayed with the fitting as well. So we'll get this grommet moved and we'll transfer back onto the intake. Now it's time to remove the air box. And to do that, we're going to remove these two rivets that are holding down that front scoop to the air box. And get these out of the way. And now the air box is actually free to come out of the truck. So it's just held in by those two prongs at the bottom. So now we provide a new bracket for this cool coolant overflow tank. So we're going to be removing these three bolts. Then there's two more on this tank. Now we're going to slide this bracket underneath the tank, just like how the other one was, and Line it up just like that. Now we'll get this 10 mil tightened down. Grab the tank. Now the new bracket is installed. So now it's time to get the SMB intake assembled and installed in the vehicle. We're going to do a lot of the assembly out here on the table, then drop it in to the vehicle. Uh, first step is going to be putting the front scoop on. So the front scoop just lines up with those holes just like that. Then we have these uh, rivets. So these go in from the bottom. I'll show you, They'll, we'll poke them through the hole right here. Then they match up. Just like this. 
and you can kind of see the angle they're at and then find your other rivet secures down just like that so we'll do that four times now that the rivets are installed we're going to flip this over we're going to take the grommet and the hat washer this is just going to push right into the box once that's in put in the hat washer right behind it now we're going to take the coupler and put it onto the air box this is what the intake tube is going to be sliding through Get that on just like that, and we will tighten up this hose clamp. This is an eight millimeter. Now it's time to get the tube ready to be installed. We can take our MPT fitting, it's going to hook up to the PCV system, and this is an and PET fitting so it's not going to screw down all the way you can see there's still about three threads showing i always do these hand tight you can grab an, a wrench and get another half turn on it we're going to take the grommet and then this is going to go into the opening here and you can also pull it in from the inside just like that. We'll also take the coupler on this end. It's just gonna stretch around the tube. And we're gonna leave, we're not gonna tighten this up yet because this is going to the throttle body. And so looks like the hose clamps just need to be loosened up a little bit, but we're gonna leave this loose so we can slide it over the throttle body and slide it over the tube if we need some more space as we're installing it. Now we'll grab the air box again. We're gonna take our tube and slide it into the air box. You can see the rib that it stops at, just there. We'll take in our filter. And this could all be done in the vehicle as well. So when it comes time to your filter change, simply just pop off the filter, tighten down a new one. Now the SMB intake is ready to be installed in the vehicle. go under the coolant line you can see it lines up great with that front scoop then we're gonna line it up to the screw on the sidewall and we'll find the grommets that it was sitting in before those are the grommets it's sitting in this is lining up now we're going to reinstall the screw so the uh, whipple stock box actually didn't have the included screw so we're gonna get this reinstalled. It's a little bit easier to do when the filter is not in, but definitely doable. Now with the half inch ratchet, we'll tighten down the screw. Now with the air box installed, we're gonna get the tube on to the throttle body. Now with only one hose clamp on the coupler, we're gonna get this coupler started onto the throttle body. So it's completely around the throttle body. Then after it's around the throttle body, we're gonna take the other hose clamp and get this started. Now we're gonna get this lower fitting pressed into the tube. Always make sure that didn't get pushed through the actual tube so you can still feel that grommet on the outside. Now after that fitting is pressed into the tube, we're gonna grab our second fitting, PCV, and get that snapped into the tube. Now we're gonna take the rivets from the Whipple airbox, get these pushed into our front scoop. 
Then the last step is going to be taking the clear lid and getting this snapped in to the air box. So just work your way around. And now it's locked in. We are going to get this battery reconnected. So with the 10 mil. Now with the battery reconnected, this is the full install. We'll go through and make sure everything's tight. All hose clamps are connected. No leaks. Fittings are good. Everything looks good. We'll get this thing fired up let you hear the sound and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.